Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a new team project collection in TFS 2013. Uh, when you install Team Foundation Server 2013, uh, there is one team project collection gets created, and that's a default. It's called a default uh, collection. Most of the time, it's okay with the, most of the companies that you work for that you just uh, create your team project under the default uh, project collection. But sometimes there are requirements in different companies that uh, you wanted to create a team project collection for each department in that company that you work in. So in that case, or in that scenario, or even if that's not the case, then whenever you wanted to create a new team project collection in TFS 2013, this video is going to help you. So we're going to go in uh, my team foundation server. Here's my team foundation server and we're going to use team foundation administration console to create a uh, project collection, new project collection. So we're going to go and open up team foundation administration console. Click yes. is going to populate team project collection which is default at this moment because when I create when I installed team foundation and then this is default collection gets created and you if you accepted that then you have a chance actually by the way when you default uh, when you uh, install team foundation server to not accept the default collection but rename that default collection and it'll create that but um, uh, let's say that you have a default collection and you wanted to create another uh, collection we're gonna go ahead and click on create collection uh, each collection just so that you know when we go through the wizard you will know each collection have its own database so you cannot have uh, multiple collection pointing to the same database you can create an empty database on a SQL server if your SQL server is a different server or even if it's installed on the TFS server uh, itself still you need to um, create a different uh, separate uh, database for each collection so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through first of all these are the each collection has these tabs up here general tab you will have uh, uh, each collection ha will have its own URL and uh, a SQL Server instance you can use if you wanted to create this default collection to a different SQL Server you can use that and the status up here this is about this default collection it's a uh, create collection is successful prepare collection is successful uh, team foundation server uh, I'm, I'm sorry team foundation project the team project I have not created the team project as yet but uh, we'll go through that as well um, and report folder report folder is if you click on edit setting I have accepted the def uh, this is the report report folder I have created but you can create another folder in reporting services wherever your reporting services is running I just wanted to quickly show you these uh, these um, tabs down here so we're gonna go ahead and click on create collection it's gonna open up a wizard for us so first thing that you need to do is uh, give the team project collection a name and description let's say I'm going to do finance collection finance project collection you can name it whatever you want to this project collection contains finance related projects so I'm just uh, uh, taking a scenario that you have uh, different departments and each department wanted to have its own project collection so this is uh, the finance department wherever you work and we're gonna create that and if you when you click next uh, you have an option to verify whatever the the values that you put in during the wizard whether they are um, actually applicable is acceptable uh, or not you can you can do that so uh, up here we have a, a TBS SQL Server SQL prod you have an option if you wanted to create this project collection to a different SQL Server you can change it now but this is my SQL Server it's um, again it's a separate server uh, even if it would be on TFS server, um, this TFS server, the SQL server is installed, you can actually provide that name. So we're going to go ahead and create a new database for this collection because I did not create 
uh, the empty database um, up there uh, on SQL Server. Sometimes, again, uh, it is a good idea. Uh, there is a high security uh, uh, from database administrator folks that they will create uh, a empty database for you and they would like you to actually create that uh, use that database where they will give you DB owner or read and write into that particular database and since if especially if the the user that you're using to create all this or, or to install uh, uh, team foundation server or create team project collection uh, doesn't have a, a sys admin on that particular SQL server. So we're going to go ahead and create a new database for this collection. All right, so uh, in the report up here, we have a, uh, a SQL server reports. This is the report server I'm going to use for my um, uh, project collection. But uh, if you wanted to, uh, if you click on this, um, if you wanted to point out somewhere else and you haven't configured, you have to configure actually the reporting services with the Team Foundation server. And if you have configured multiple uh, reporting servers, then you can use, you can select multiple servers that where you wanted to actually uh, create this Team Foundation server and where the reports are going to run. So we're going to go ahead and select this. As you can see right now, the, the uh, TFS, this is the default. Um, folder up here and this is finance project collection is the project is gonna uh, is the folder is gonna create so we're, if you look at right here it says create a folder at the default location or specify uh, a path to an existing folder if you already have a folder you can click that and verify that or if you uh, this is gonna use the default collection which is right here this is my default collection folder TFS underscore report but if you wanted to create a different folder you have an option right here and you can uh, create you can ask DBAs to create a folder for you where you can put your collection so we're gonna go ahead and actually create a, a folder at the default location so we're gonna go ahead and click next lab management do you want to configure a lab management for this uh, team project collection I do not want to con configure this lab management but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that so click next this is your uh, configuration review so just make sure that your uh, uh, name is a finance project collection and uh, your description is this your SQL server is this your reporting services is this and a folder for the reports is very important right here if you wanted to take a look and now it's going to go through the readiness check if there is any error it's going to let us know uh, and we'll uh, we'll check that error and we'll uh, actually resolve that error before we go further so let's go ahead and click on verify right now is verifying the team project reports make sure that that report is already configured everything is passed in our uh, case so we're gonna go ahead and click on create and that's when it's gonna go through the create progress and uh, complete so uh, it's gonna take a little bit time I might uh, um, I, I may go ahead and pause the video if it's gonna take long time but we'll see that uh, how my internet speed is so click create I'll go ahead and actually pause the video and I'll be back once the uh, creation progress is completed. It's going to take a little bit of time. Collection creation report right here. The core framework is completed. Everything else is completed. What it takes to create a team project collection. Uh, basically, this is it. This is how you create a new team uh, project collection uh, in my, uh, TFS 2013. So we're going to go ahead and click next and it says everything that uh, we have uh, passed and it's completed if you wanted to look at the log you can click on this uh, right here especially if you run into error this is very important that you go and look at the uh, log it'll tell you the error in detail so we're gonna go ahead and close that and right here is our uh, finance project collection and it's online and I hope this video helps.